saw this headline here. <laughs> oh, man, this infuriated me. 10 out of 10 mad. Some things I'll see in the world, and I'm like, I got to talk about that. Because I have a Google Docs um, app. So I copy and paste all the headlines that I see and all the videos that I'm going to play. Right now, I have about 25 to 30 tabs open. And some of the news headlines don't make me as mad as the other ones. But this one is one of the most disrespectful, hack, lame, pathetic things I've ever heard. And let's just begin on square one of this issue. That there has never been a time in this world that Rob Schneider has ever been funny. Rob Schneider is lucky that he is friends with Adam Sandler. Adam Sandler is known to be a very good friend and a very good guy. And without Adam Sandler, Rob Schneider would be nothing. His sitcom on Netflix was not very funny. He's a deadbeat father to his lesbian daughter. Or at the very least, I think she's bi, but she's into women. And then, Dikembe Mutombo, rest in peace. No, 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 no. That was the shot blocking joke. If you don't watch the NBA, you don't get it. But Dikembe Mutombo dies. And he's literally one of the greatest guys ever. He was like a world ambassador, probably top three shot blockers of all time. Great on defense, known as a lovable guy. I saw he died at 58, and it made me really sad. I love Dikembe Mutombo. He's just cool. I would have loved to meet him. I would have loved to interview him on Hoppy Hour. He dies of brain cancer. And King James, LeBron James is tweeting about it. The NBA is tweeting about it. And it's all, man, rest in peace to the legend, blah, blah, blah. And then you got the hack, the no-talent piece of garbage known as Rob Schneider. Who, I'm not saying every conservative is bad or good, but he represents what I don't like about the conservative party, which is the absolute brainless nonsense that he spews whenever he goes on Fox News or whenever he's on social media. He's one of those anti-vaxxers. He's one of those, I believe in the Bible, even though I shun my own kid. He's just a scumbag. And I saw on Reddit, yeah, you believe what you see on Reddit, but somebody said one time they saw him at Whole Foods in 06 and he was yelling at everybody. And I'm like, yeah, you're a short little bitch. Of course you would. And now this opening intro to this segment of me talking about Rob Schneider, you're going, but what did Rob do? Rob tweeted this. There was a tweet from Dikembe Matambo from about, six months ago, or maybe a year ago, it says this, actually, I'll play it for you. It's right here on Happy Hour. This is ridiculous. The world is not the same as it was yesterday. A lot of things are changing. The only way we can move on to be healthy is by being vaccinated. We need to help each other, make sure each one of us understand the importance of vaccine so we can live in a better community. We need to wash our hands. We need to educate each other. And we need to wear a mask. So this is from three years ago. We cannot ignore the importance of wearing a mask. So he tweeted that three years ago. And what is that little bitch? That hack, that no talent loser. Oh, the animal was so funny. The way you were crazy, Rob, because you're so wild and crazy that you tweeted out and you retweet that video and you go, rest in peace. I'm sure this is just another coincidence, but I took a pass on the jab and I'm not going to let anyone I know and who will listen get it either. And then he goes on to say, that's all he went on to say. So this guy. Rest in peace to Dikembe Mutombo. He dies of brain cancer. Not a natural causes where some people might say it's because of the jab, because of the vaccine. But this hack, this no talent loser makes it about the vaccine. And it's like, that is just why I despise the Republican Party. I don't like the Democratic Party either. But literally, it was just a vaccine. And every conservative freaked out because they don't like being told what to do. 
Because a lot of the conservative party is a bunch of hacky bullies that behind that hide behind the religion and go, well, God told me to do this. No, you're just making God make your opinions available, if that makes sense. Like, God didn't say that gay people are bad. You're just saying you don't like gay people and that God said that. It's nonsense. And the same thing goes with the jab. This literally is a video from three years ago. And you tweet this out and you say this is another coincidence. He died of brain cancer, you moron. You know what this is? A lot of these hacky comedians do this all the time. Kevin Brennan, who I do think is funny, he made a joke about Matthew Perry when he died. And Ari Shafir, who I don't think is funny, made a joke about when uh, Kobe died. But I'm telling you, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, a lot of these hacky comedians that are not happy with themselves, they don't like when someone who's beloved, like Dikembe Mutombo, dies. And that everybody's going, oh my God, it's so sad, it's so sad. I was at the DMV and I saw the news and I was immediately upset. They don't like seeing that somebody who was a good person is upset. So they're bullies, they're losers. And they want to bring people down by going, oh, it's because of the jab. No. It just really bothers me that Rob Schneider has a platform for his nonsense. I've often said, however you are as a father describes you as a person. And frankly, we know enough about Rob Schneider to know that he's a scumbag. Happy hour. Happy hour.